Sure. You are recording. Great. Greetings, Ansel Hoffman Golf Club and Chuck Hawkins. Thank you for filming. This is our fourth podcast. With me is Curtis Wolfer. Curtis is our new superintendent. It's been what about two months? Uh, since August eighth. Well, tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, so my background, I'm uh, born and raised in Reading, so I'm a Valley guy. Uh, I've always worked on golf courses. I started off as a cart kid and then kind of progressed into the maintenance and played a little high school golf, played a little bit of college golf, and I figured out real quick that uh, I was much better at growing grass than I was at playing golf. <laughs> Now I see Woodbridge on your jacket. Is that where you're from? So no, um, I have been around all over the valley from San Luis Obispo all the way up to Reading, working on courses. I've built a couple, uh, built Morgan Creek, uh, built one in the Bay Area. Um, I came after I finished with Morgan Creek, I was hired on to do Cherry Island where I managed Cherry Island for 13 years. Wow. And then I spent the last four and a half years down in Lodi at Woodbridge Golf and Country Club. Love Woodbridge. So the, the opportunity to, to come here came up and it's only 25 minutes from my house. That's convenient. And that's, uh, it's a much better, much easier commute. And I love the golf course. That's important. So we played a tournament on Saturday, and I got to tell you, the uh, course was fantastic. You did a great, it, you, you guys are, are doing a great job. So tell us in these last couple of months, what are some of your lessons learned? Um, it, the last few months have given me a chance to really kind of evaluate the golf course and what its needs are and kind of where we're deficient in some things. Um, it's all, always educational. Um, you know, once we get a lot of these deficiencies addressed, it's going to make maintaining the course a lot easier in the future. Um, so it's it's a learning experience, you know, so we take corrective measures on things that need to be remedied right now and get after it. It's hard work. It's all you can do. So what are some of the things that are on your project plan? So the first item we're going to be addressing, which you probably noticed, is tree trimming. Uh, that is my highest priority. Uh, and the reason for that is our irrigation system isn't the best, which we're going to have to live with it for a little while longer. Sure. And for sprinklers to work effectively, the trees have to be trimmed because there's too many places around this golf course that the low branches, the sprinklers just catch the low branches and knock all the water down. Well, those sprinklers are designed to reach the other sprinklers that are out in the fairway, but they can't. So we water so much and the, we have to reduce the percentage of irrigation that are in the trees so that we don't have a wet spots all over the place. Well, and what that does in the center of the fairways, fairways don't get enough water. Mm -hmm. So that shows the importance of these tr doing the tree trim. And actually, I can even see the benefits just in the last month with what you're talking about. It looks like six fairways come back really well. 15th fairway is in the best condition I've seen it in a while. So the, the three things that turf needs, it needs sun, it needs water, and it needs nutrients. If it doesn't have one of those three things, you're not going to have good turf. And with the sun, with the tree trimming, uh, and some of the trees that we've already done, we're starting to get grass to grow back underneath the trees where before there was nothing, no dirt. Well, Curtis, great job. Welcome aboard. I'm sure this won't be the last podcast we have, but you're doing a great job and just keep it up. Yeah, anytime. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Chuck.